So we got QCD Shootout at Jefferson Country Club LIDAR. Back tees, pin one, high winds, moderate, moderate, moderate. That is, that is right where I like. That is right where I like my greens. Not too fast. I mean, things are gonna break on us. That is just the nature of it. But hopefully that should be enough to, to put us into a good spot. Okay, so if we go off the tee here, a little bit short and run it up. We're gonna have, gonna have an iron. Feel like I'm gonna risk going full here. Feel like I'm gonna risk going full because I think if we do that, we'll have enough wedge into the wind that we can still, still knock down a lob wedge to the back of the greed. Ooh. Also, if you guys want to hear a fun, a fun stat for the, the videos of this and others that have been going over to YouTube. I think my, uh, I think my subscriber to not subscribed ratio is like 20% subscribed are watching. So like people, people need to get on that. Click the subscribe button, do it. I think, is that, is that how you properly advertise? I think I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be better. Ooh, we could fly it. You know what? I'm gonna try and do this. We're gonna try and fly the pitching wedge under the wind here a little bit. Well, we did fly it under the wind. We also hit it. We also hit it fast. Okay, so there's some work on that. Maybe need to maybe need to pull it back a little bit more and take a more relaxed swing. All right, but we've got the putt now, so let's try and let's try and make that happen. So we've got left to right break the whole way. Yeah, I think it's left to right the whole way on here. Gonna pull the aim and tent back a little bit because we've been overhitting them, so I should probably just play to overhit it. And then gotta expect that on something like this, it's gonna be breaking a bit, but it's slower green, so maybe not quite as much, and then just come across at the end. Shanked it, but then like, see, that's that's my problem right now. Is like, look how much we overhit that by. Like, I think what ends up happening is when I try and intentionally shank, or I try and intentionally miss the power. I think that's where I get I get myself in a lot of trouble, and I think we can make just a lot more if. I don't know if I just change the intent and try and hit it like normal. So I feel like when I try and go that extra step, I get myself into more trouble and it's just not good at all. To say something before or during my round, it's not sell out, just 15 seconds. I know, but it's a weird thing. Like, I, I don't even ask people to follow the channel here. Cause I mean, Cause it's a different thing, right? Like, just because somebody follows doesn't mean they watch, but I guess that's the same thing with YouTube, right? Like if somebody doesn't subscribe, then, you know, somebody subscribes, that doesn't mean that they watch, but you want them to subscribe because that increases the likelihood. I don't know. It's just a, it's a weird thing. And I've always been my worst, <laughs> my worst self promoter. Now we're hitting fast. I misread the win, so the fast here is not not the worst thing. Definitely came up quite short. All right. I'm getting weird vibes from this. 
It feels like where the ball is, it starts to go back uphill. Feels like where my feet are. I'm gonna go with the ball is just above my feet. I think we're gonna aim it just on that outside edge. It was a little bit more, but like, it was so hard to tell. Just feels like the ball is on this weird ridge and then it kind of flattens out, ends up just turning straight off. We've got plenty of time to dial it in. Two pars out the gate. Obviously not what we're not what we're hoping to get, but that definitely doesn't mean that we are out of out of any sort of contention for for scoring. So I think if we put maybe a little bit of loft in, and break into this nine iron, it's not gonna go too too far off on us. Oh, it's too far still. Sit. So it's things like that where the the littlest amount of wind just feels like it still takes my shot. So far off. Downhill, left to righter. Just gotta try and try and like draw this this putt line in my head. Come on, get the two, get right back in it. Whew, okay. Eagle definitely helps make up for some things. Okay, so driver might actually be a bit much. I don't want to take too much off of this, but let's just maybe try and find the green. Mm, I slowed it. Come on, get a kick left. Be a friendly bounce. That is not a friendly bounce. Yeah, what's going on, Pat? Welcome back. All right, well, missed, missed tempo, and I'm sure that's all in my head about not wanting to be in that water, so. We've got right to left once we get onto the green. We're gonna have to get this. Gonna have to get this splash shot. Somewhere out in here. I... I don't know what it is, but like I just, I can't seem to quite hit those with any sort of, I don't know if it's because they're so partial that my brain just doesn't, doesn't quite work properly. I'm not so, I'm not so sure. Woo. 
Ooh, okay. Eagle birdie. Those are important. Playing round three of True Sim soon before doing your other important stuff. First time playing True Sim in weeks. You were okay. I mean, True Sim's, uh, True Sim's always a tough one to play in general, let alone take some time off and come back to. But good to have you back on it, Pat. Crazy low in True Sim as they do in other tours? Not quite as low, no. Um, there are definitely the occasional fairly low round. The thing is with True Sim, they are on like, act they're on real courses. Um, real course recreations um, of different sorts. So you just have a little bit easier courses some weeks. So depending on the, the course condition combo, you're gonna have, you're gonna have some scoring potential, but then you're balanced out, you know, balanced out a bit by the lack of aids and and greens and whatnot. So, if you if people if people get on a roll where they can stick it super close, you know, repeatedly, then they're gonna they're gonna be able to score if they can convert those putts. taking these ones a little bit long I'm like definitely trying to be quite a bit shorter than I am saying that this dips right to left at the end so I guess that starts to peel off but it seems like it's below my feet at the start like I feel like I'm reading this the complete opposite at the beginning of this and the end so where am I going wrong with my eyesight Cause that to me feels left to right must flatten out in the last bit I'm gonna put it on this this like left edge here. It just, yeah. <sighs> That's a funky one. That's a funky one. Like I saw the break. I just, I don't know. I guess I thought with the pace, it wouldn't dive off the line that far, but I guess it always does. Did well in your rounds and after not doing well in the first two events. It's it's a learning curve. It absolutely is. And it it takes a while. And even once you get good at it, it's still it's still a tough one. So good on you for sticking with it. Very nice doing doing better. I didn't want to hit it 102, I don't think. That's going to be long. Yeah. That 100 would have been so good. Would have been so, so good. Let's see here. It's breaking away as we go down. I think it's breaking away the whole time. But I think in the like latter half, it breaks a bit more. Okay. 
overread it just a hair. Was a pretty solid read overall, but just not, not quite it. Pin denied it? Oh man, Pat. Weird enough, like I have the true sim Albi is our first one. I still, it feels like, I mean, it's a real Albi. It feels fake. You know what I mean? Because we putted it, it just doesn't feel real. <laughs> <laughs> Which I know is stupid, but I like still don't quite feel like I have an Albi. <laughs> it's a very odd feeling to say the least. Also, no wonder they're scoring. Like, these are. These are par five approaches with nine irons and eight irons. Oh, I underread it. Come on, get a kick to the right, maybe? Not quite, but we can putt this. Let's see what we got here on the green. Just a little left to right the whole way. It's nothing like super crazy. I got I do need to give this a bit more. We're converting our eagle opportunities, which is definitely, definitely big when it comes to, to scoring in general. You know, if we can't convert all the birdies, at least, at least making eagles on par fives is gonna help out the cause. Twenty-two under leading through two. Okay. I saw there were some like thirteens and fourteens. I think at the top of round one. So we got 128 to the front. That wind is just turning in a little bit. I mean, there's always the chance that you try and take the gap wedge. Just... It's lofted a little bit. Oh, I pushed it on this one. Come on, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Come on. Convert it? Gotta convert. It's breaking left to right. It's also breaking at my feet. I feel like this is like... I think that's one of those ones you just have to play it that way, like put it on the edge and, and power it home. I feel like the more that I dawdle with those and I pull... I pull the power back and I try and get it there just nice, I, I end up... I end up missing so many. Uh, three wood off the tee, wind at the back. I like five yards. Thing is, if we play this out and all the way down, then we're into pitch territory, which we can get the spin. If we lay up. Nah, if I lay up, I'm still gonna have a, I'm still gonna have a wedge. I'll still have like a sand wedge in. Which I think is all we need. 
I mean, it might not be the right play. I just don't trust myself enough with the pitches at the moment. I trust myself with the pitches a little bit more than the chips, though, right now, I feel like. So 125. 24, wind out a little. I, I just, I think with maybe a little bit of backspin on the wedge, take the sand wedge. It's a little below the feet, wind's off just a little bit. Just play this thing up. I knew that I, that might be a pull as well as a fast. I knew that I hit that a little bit on the heavy handed side. Not ideal. I feel like that played as a pull as well, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Is there left to right? Kind of feels like it. I can't, I don't expect there to be like a ton, but it just doesn't feel fully flat to me. I guess it was, I don't know, it just, just didn't feel quite flat. But you gotta play what you see, you gotta play what you feel. You know, if I... Oh, I cut that too far to the left. I wanted that to be a little bit more right. Oh, but maybe we do have an opening. Okay. This may just be okay. So long as these trees don't come into play, I think we're fine. Yeah, wind's tailing enough. Eight iron here, it's down, downwind. I mean, there's no way I'm playing that. So we'll play some, we'll play a little bit of shape on this, on this eight iron. Play it off over here. Let it ride its way back over towards the green. Uh, that almost took a very, very fortunate kick. That would have been pretty dang nutty. Oh boy, okay. Well, hopefully, 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 hopefully we can Make good on this gift and uh, maybe just maybe send a, send a third eagle putt home. Yeah, what's going on, Blue? I know we were very we were very close to to nipple lasers. It was danger close. a good touch we'll take the tap in bird we'll take the tap in bird i was i the only concern i had was how much does that break at the start of the putt and if it didn't break enough 
or like at all at the start. I knew we weren't going to be getting there. So what if we were to if we drive this thing out there, it's going to be it's going to be like a lob wedge pitch. I think I'm going to take it. Got to have some faith in myself. Got to have some faith in myself here that we can we can convert the the pitch shot. Sixty-two. It seems fairly flat behind. Maybe, maybe going a little bit uphill here. We've got spin on it. It's into the wind, so if it goes long, like it should spin back for us. I pulled it. Oh, I only hit it 95%. Okay. Fortunately for us, it didn't spin back then, because that would have been no bueno. All right, little left to righter. By little, I mean like it, it. This actually does have some break on it. Okay, need need some of these conversions. Absolutely need some of these conversions. Okay, good stuff. Good, good stuff. 224 yard par three. That's that's tucked back there. Five iron with some wind. I'm gonna play this to be a little bit safer. So I'm not gonna go straight at the pin. I'm gonna play for this to drift right at the pin and have some room on the green to work. Oh, I hit it a little fast, but that should be fine, because distance. You can sit down now. Okay. Blue comes in, Pretzel plays blue. <laughs> what are the odds of that? That's actually pretty wild. <laughs> Just casually doing uh, doing automated intro songs now, you know? Subtle ways of, of keeping tabs on, on who's in chat and, <laughs> and things like that, right? All right, we're drifting right to left. Ball's definitely above the feet. Feels like it picks up a little more at the end. Ooh, the movement in was the right call. Little, little around the world there. Peace. Side door, Sally? I don't know, man. She, that thing came in the side door, but it like it went around and came in the front door. <laughs> it was a full trip. That was a full, full, full trip. <laughs> sure, sure. We'll, we'll go with that. Okay, I actually, I actually think we just gotta go hybrid. Cause dancing around the the tree line there, I don't think it gets us too much. I mean, maybe, but I I think I think if we can play something like this in, we've got 133 to the pin, center green, balls below the feet a bit. 
We do have some wind as well to bring this back. Just a little bit on it. Oh, a little bit slow. It's gonna end up playing too short because of that. But maybe I just need to have played that one stock because the loft definitely could have been a factor here. You would have tried to drive the green. <laughs> I, I mean, I look at it. Don't get me wrong. I look at it, but then I see that that tree line's there. I'm like, okay, if I play some crazy, crazy fade around, the wind is going the other way. Like, I just, I don't trust I don't trust my short game enough. It might be a different thing if I had if I had more faith in my ability to get up and down with chip shots from the rough. But like if I put myself in a in a situation to chip, like I'm not feeling like okay, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to score this. There was just enough drift on that putt, and then I also missed the swing plane in that same direction. Like, if I missed the swing plane the other way, that's it. If I hit it perfect, it's in. That was also hammered, yeah, I also hit that firm. I was trying, because I was, like, convinced that there was a little bit of break in it, so I was trying to take that little bit out, but I didn't, it, it, it pushed and it went... Yeah, it's kind of a bank on hitting it center cup is really all that was. Did not hit it center cup. <laughs> so. All right, this being out on the right hand side creates an interesting proposition for the approach. So that is 198 to the front, 193 if you play it back a little bit. So that means we're A-OK -okay on distance from here. Easily carry the 200. Winter themes have frozen water? That I don't know, actually. Would be interesting to to see that though. Wow, I ended up carrying 205. Should have taken that slightly more aggressive line. One to how angry, one to 10, how angry the old Destiny desires that the only added assets in this year is the gingerbread houses. There's some other stuff too, right? I mean, there's... I don't know the full list, but it's gotta be like candy canes and that sort of thing, right? Yeah, I mean... You probably have to be fairly upset about it, right? That broke a lot more. That broke a lot more. Surprise that Christmas stuff. Well, I guess the I guess the hope would be like I mean who knows at this point, but like the hope would be that as if they can get things to stabilize and stop breaking things on updates like that opens up dev time to do new cool stuff the problem is things keep breaking therefore they have to keep fixing like it 
Yeah, you know, I mean, it definitely seems like they're going for the... They're going for the long game, right? Like, trying to have the game last for longer, but... You know, where they push content for, for more than just... Oh, the 97 kind of scares me, but also might help, because I know that this was drifting potentially long. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> that is a lovely under hit. What's going on, Snowda? Swing changes happened, nothing written in the patch. Have to assume it was broken, not intended. Yeah, and like the stuff with the, um, with the fittings and things like that, right? Like the fittings are suddenly like way nerfed. I have to imagine that they weren't trying to nerf fittings. You know, like I have to imagine that just somehow they were changing something else and that broke. Because for a while it was starting to look like that it was almost like the legendaries were like now what the commons were. That's the counterplay to balls being disabled. So you ha you have to hit it shorter. You have longer clubs into these greens, and you don't have ball. That's not counter. That's like added pain. So what they're gonna they're gonna roll back the uh they're gonna roll back the ball update. They're gonna roll back the ball update and force everybody to <laughs> force everyone to have to use balls, but then also nerf the nerf the fittings. I mean the thing with that though is like they didn't Nothing's changed about the fittings that are already in the game, right? Like... That's the part where I'm a little bit... stumped. Ah, fast. Yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, haven't, they haven't done it yet. Those aren't stored on the server. They're not, right? So what do you do about it, though? The people that played the game from the start are just super OP compared to everybody else? Because, like, that to me seems... Seems to me to be something incredibly broken. GG, you snooze, you lose. I I don't know. It feels it feels unintended. That seems like a pretty big thing to just drop on people and not tell anybody about. Okay, well that did not, uh, that did not break anywhere similar to what I thought it would. I also overhit it, but like, that, I was like thinking that's gonna take a big sweeping, big sweeping turn. Maybe some of that is just due to the power that I hit it with. Oh, another par five? 629 yards into the wind though. All right, well, I don't know. I don't think we're, uh, I don't think we're making it on in two. 
We're just gonna have to we're gonna have to hole out our second shot or our third shot for eagle. Try and try and get another eagle on the cards. Yeah, 315 yards. I just don't see us doing anything with that. All right, 114 yards, wind's cutting in on our face just a little bit, which means I just need to punch this thing through. I do wish I punched it just a touch more. Come on, let's let's find let's find Birdie here on the last. Got a little left to right. This thing definitely. Definitely drifting away from us. What a round! What a round! Started a little slow, lots of pars on the front, but two eagles make it up for it quite substantially all right we'll take it we'll take it tied for the lead on ps going into round two that is a that is a mighty fine place to be